Daddy. I just wanted to let you know that I don't hold it against you. You did what you had to do. Sorry, I don't follow you the whole what against me. Well, calling the police, what else? I mean, I know he's my son, but it would not have been right to let him get away with hitting you like that. No. Yeah, um, except for, in this case, I sort of did. Sorry? Not guilty. Um, in regards to phoning the police, anyway. Oh. Good. Is she sleeping through now, then? Yeah. I was going to ask if I could have her tomorrow, take and see my dad. Yeah, I don't see why not. Really? I said so, didn't I? I'll bring him over before school. Great. I'll see you then. I thought you'd ruled the cold calling idea out. Yeah, well, needs muster. Besides, how hard can it be? Knock, knock. Hello, my name's Valerie Lambert, and if I could show you a great new deal in curtains and soft furnishings, you'd be interested, wouldn't you? <laughs> Piece of cake. What was all that about? Ah, uh, didn't I tell you I was going door to door this morning? Uh, no, you didn't. It's a bit uh, enthusiastic, isn't it? Oh, you know me, Eric. Just always thinking of new ways to increase profits. Mm. Mm. There you go. Oh, thanks. Well, go on. Hey, chop. I'm Alan would be proud of that. I kind of don't really feel like it at the moment. I'm sorry. I spent ages making it. Don't make her feel guilty, Sam. Yeah, stick it under the grill for the time being, love. She needs to eat, though. Sure she will when she feels like it. Actually, what I feel what I feel like is a breath of fresh air. You've got low blood pressure. You're supposed to be resting. Alice, are you all right? I'm only doing what the doctor said. Oh, Sam, quick! Get us out! Oh. You're right. You're right, Pat. You sit down. Go on, I'll fit down now, Fred. No, don't be shy. Hello. Hello. You here? No, no, no. You're biting. <laughs> Chat rooms. This is our self-esteem level now, is it? Oh. You meet some very interesting people. At least they don't hit you. What does that mean, now? Oh, 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 Luke, it's for your own good. It's time to face the world, Patrick Kirk. And I mean the real world, not blooming, not cyberspace. Well, that's easier to say. Luke, that little animal that caught you on is due to appear in court today. Yeah, and because of his previous record, he's gonna get put away, whatever happens. So you've no need to shut yourself up in here, have you? Hey? Right? I'm not shutting myself up anyway, I'm just not feeling very sociable. Is Paddy in? Sure, come in. Hiya. Hello. Um, I'll, I'll put the kettle on. So I see how you were doing? Yeah, I could say the same for you. Oh, this will heal. Thing is, Paddy, I'm not here to apologise for him. Well, it's a good thing too, you're not responsible for him. You know, it took this to make me realise that. One hell of a wake-up call, eh? Point is, I notice you're not open for business yet. Yeah, well, as I was saying to Marlon, when I feel up to it... Mama, oh. Polly. Whatever happens to Scott, you can't let him dominate your life anymore. It's over, and he lost. Hmm, up to your usual excellent standards. <laughs> so when do I get a pay rise? I said excellent standard. I didn't say it was a work of artistic genius. Hey. Ah, can I help you? Yes, I'm uh, looking for this lady. Ah, regretfully, my business partner is out raising finances, but I'm sure she'd consider me a worthy substitute. And in English, that means he can deal with you. <laughs> Haven't I seen you somewhere before? Oh, in the pub a few days ago. Not just a pretty face, then. Oh, you or me. Ah, can I help you? She's a full partner here, is she? And I'm the senior partner. Right, 50-50 split. 51-49. Yeah, oh, right. Still, infers there is something to split, though, eh? Yeah, we're doing quite well, thank you. Why? Oh, I'm just interested, you know. I find in uh, my line of work it pays to know the potential of a place. Oh, well, if it's business you want to talk about, uh, we could retire to my office, organise an appointment. 
No, thanks. When's she back? Uh, uh, in this afternoon, I believe. Good. Well, I'll call back later, then. Yeah. She should be there. You both should. Donna is working in the shop all day. Right. So what's your excuse? I can't go, Kelly. It's too much. And how's he going to feel if I'm the only one there? I know how hard it is for you. I really don't think you do. Not this time. You do realise he's going to go on remand, don't you? Yeah, I know. And I'm sorry. <laughs> Not that sorry, obviously. Prepared to let your own son go to prison without so much as a wave goodbye. Right, that is enough. And what's he got to do with you? You're not even family. Kelly. Now, I, I may not be what you class as family, but I, I am your step mum's husband. Ex-husband right now. And also the father of the young woman that your brother likes to punch. So I do have a say. Listen, she is not going. No amount of hissy fit from you is going to change that, so get used to it. Are you going to let him talk to me like that? Fine. Right, it's just me and you from now, eh, TJ? Yeah. Here, yeah, this one's on me. Reckon you might need it by the end of the day. I don't deserve you. I don't deserve very much at all, to be honest. Come on, love, we've been through all this. Well, it's true. I've abandoned him, haven't I? It's about the worst thing a mother can do to a child. Scott isn't a child. It doesn't say much about me as a mother, though, does it? Whichever way you look at it. God. When I think about what he might have done, what he might have been capable of. Don't. Now, do, listen to me, right? Just, just, just don't. Now, it's, it's not your problem right now. Max. Thank you. She just seemed a bit distant, like I said something to offend her. And have you? Well, not that I know of. Well, I shouldn't worry about it, then. She doesn't mind the baby spending time with us tomorrow. You can't have offended her that badly, can you? Doing the granddad bits, are we? No, oh, just for the morning. Cheers, boy. Oh, my pleasure. What are the chances of you banking off tomorrow? Not good. Why? Oh, got a couple of tickets for a rugby match that you might be interested. It's got to be better than hanging around here. Sorry, mate. I've got plans. <laughs> Taking this one for a walk. Yeah. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> Have a look. All right, bye. Hello. Hello. Oh. Oh, dear. What? Oh, well, I might be wrong, but he, he feels a bit hot to me. Come on, girl. Oh, you know, get out of there. Nose is dry as well. Always a bad sign. It seems all right to me. Yeah, but you, you don't want to take any chances, do you? I tell you what, why don't you take him to our friendly village veterinary practice for a canine MOT? <laughs> Someone made the money for a start. I'll sub you. Oh, what's all this about? Oh, come on, mate. I'm, I'm trying to get Paddy to come out himself. A new patient might be just what he needs. Oh, I don't know about that, mate. Last time I tried it on with Paddy, well, he threw a wobbler cos I was using Bolan to chat up Joe. A couple of pints in it for you. Yeah, keep talking. <laughs> hey, how'd you get on your town? Don't ask. Oh, that bad. Knock, knock. Hello, I'm Val Lambert, and if I could show you a way of replacing them cheap curtains of yours with something cheaper but less grotty, you'd be interested, wouldn't you? Slam. Well, that's not what you practised earlier. Oh, yeah, well, it came out different on the doorstep, didn't it? Hey, you should stick to your own territory. How oh, come? Cool. In from the other day. Good-looking one. Came to see you. Did he now? Oh, don't tell us. He got to speak to Eric, right? Well, yeah, but he only wanted to do business with you, so he's coming back later. Oh, damn. Well, I thought you'd be pleased. Yeah, but if Eric knows he's in the picture, how am I going to do the work on the side? Oh, yeah. Oh, are you knackered then? Nah, nothing's impossible. Except door to door selling and hotting, obviously. <laughs> Has anyone ever told you you like one of them dynamos? <laughs> they have linked us to a bike pet, but I don't think we're talking about the same thing. Oh. Oh. So what caused it? Not entirely sure. Hence the blood test. But I guess you're probably anemic. Yeah. You just need to up your iron intake. You leave it with us, Doc. 
Come on, son. We're going hunting. <laughs> Aye. Yeah. Viv, thought you'd be at court. I'm not going. How oh, come? Cool. Well, it's part of the reason I'm here, really. Um, I want to apologise for Scott hitting you. And not only that, everything he's put you through. Well, you can say something if you want. Yeah, sorry, it just it takes a minute to sink in. Thanks. Why now? Well, the past few days have been a bit of a revelation. Go on. He lied to both of us, didn't he? And if it had only been that, I'd have found an excuse for him, you know, like I always do, but... If I go over what happened that night with him and Zoe, if, if I even think about what he tried... Well, look, don't. For your own sanity, if nothing else, that's the way I feel anyway. He is my son and I will always love him. But I'm not going to be there for him today, not this time. I was hoping we could call a truce. If you think that's at all possible. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. Do, do you want a cup of tea or something? No, no, um, I've left Donna on her own in charge of the shop. Um, we were... Your dad and me, we were wondering if you and TJ would like to come over for tea later. It seems silly you sitting here all on your own. Well, you know, that's really nice of you, but if you realise... You don't want me hanging around. Not today. I do. Please. For me. We'd love to. Thanks. You see, uh, what most people don't realise about your average nettle... Ow! ..is that they're, uh, yeah, chock full of iron. <laughs> yeah, there's a an old recipe that my grandma used to call stingle soup back home. Yeah, a couple of bowls of that, Alice will be right as rain. Ow! Oh, ruddy Nora. What is your problem? Dunno. Do you think it might be that I keep getting stung? You know, I seriously think that our man found you on a doorstep. You are? Well, it's hardly son of the soil, is it? Ow, ow, ow! I see you haven't picked exact bushel of him yourself. I'm doing my bit, don't you worry. All right, Farmer Barleymo. Let's see you pick handful now. Uh, watch and learn, man. <coughs> Ow! Well, thank you for your vote of confidence. <laughs> All I'm saying is I'm not hugely surprised. Cold calling isn't just about sales, Pat. It's, it's an art. Oh, art now, is it? Yes, it takes lots of years of learning and practice and not just a small amount of raw natural talent. Mm, you'd know all about that, wouldn't you? Well, I'm simply saying... Oh, that... I know what you're saying, Eric. And I'm sorry, but you are talking cobblers and you know it. How so? Because a little bird told me you had a visitor earlier who walked away without so much as a brochure. Where was your so-called art then, Signor Caravaggio? Muse deserted you, had it? Not at all. And in fact, I don't think it was in the market as it happens. Oh, that sounds like sour grapes to me. So, why was he here then? I don't know. All I do know, he was just asking lots of questions about you and the, the, the business. Which makes me wonder if you haven't attracted a competitor. Anxious to get inside information? Yeah, well, we'll have to wait and see when he comes back, won't we? Um, I don't think Alice is going to want to eat this. Hmm. Of course she will. Ancient family recipe, is that? It's been handed down for generations. Hi, uh, lads, come in. Can about? Oh, uh, no, you want to leave a message? I just wanted to tell him that we've got no work on tomorrow, so there's no point in coming in. Oh. But I'll still pay for his time, like. Oh, well, he won't mind that then, will he? Well, yeah. we could all find such a generous employer. Yeah, well, anyway. Why don't you stay for your tea? That'd be all right, wouldn't it, Em? There's plenty to go around. 
That's very nice of you. Well, it'd be impolite not to offer under the circumstances. <laughs> yeah, we're waiting for Lisa to get back. Grab yourself a can for fridge. You know, take the weight off. Thank you. So you all right? Yeah, I'm all right. How's she doing? Yeah, she's fine. You reckon she'll be up to a day out tomorrow? Oh, well, the thing is, Rob... Only I wondered if the three of us could go somewhere, seeing as there's not much work on. Unless you've got something planned. No, nothing. Oh, great. Is it, or...? Yeah, OK. Well, I can pick up some baby food for Sarah, if you like. Oh, don't worry. We've got loads. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you're making me sick. <laughs> Very cosy. What's she doing here? She was invited, thank you. I invited her. Terrific. Well, seeing as you ask, while you lot here have been having a little family party, Scott's been sent down for four months. Oh, and he pleaded guilty, by the way, seeing as you're interested. Well, of course he pleaded guilty. He was guilty. He's guilty for a lot more than that, I should think. Dad, Cause... don't, OK? How'd he take it? Yeah. How'd you think? He's going to prison, for God's sake. Oh, but you'd be pleased to know he told me to send his love and... <laughs> no message for you. Sorry. That's not surprising, is it? Thank you, Emily Love. Right, well, took in everybody. <coughs> What's it like? I, I haven't tasted it yet. Right, up your bums, everyone. It's a bit tart, isn't it? I don't know about tart. It's more like rancid. You know me, I'll eat out. Well, don't blame me. It's his recipe. <sighs> Look, I said it was full of iron. Now, I didn't say it tasted nice. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I don't think I can touch this. I'm... But you've got to. You need your iron, love. I think I'd rather have coal. Oh, what are we going to do at this time? Start digging and up? When Nellie were having her Sam, she used to keep up her strength with pints of stout. Lots of iron in stout. And he turned out all right, didn't he? Hmm. That's the answer, then, isn't it? Damn. Hello. Hi. I had a feeling we'd be meeting again. Well, I was fairly sure, too. Good. I, uh, I believe you were looking for me this morning. That's right, I was, yeah. Oh, you must forgive me. I've got a terrible memory for names. Well, as you gave me your card, allow me to reciprocate. Ooh, Mark Heyman, is that you? That certainly is. <laughs> Heyman of Heyman and Partners. Bailiffs. You're looking a bit more chipper. <laughs> yeah, decided to take your advice, didn't I? Get out and face the world. It's the only way, my man. Hi, please, Marlon. Paddy? Uh, no, I'm fine. I've just got one. Thanks. No, um, I'm a bit worried about bowling. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm serious. Oh, yeah. But you were worried before. Remember when Joe first came? Have you ever heard the fable of the boy who cried dog? Well, he wasn't looking too well earlier. Was... See? Besides, I can't afford to lie, can I? So are you uh, likely to be open any time soon? I don't know what. Bring him in tomorrow morning first thing, aren't right? Will do. Now that was very good to hear. Well, I can't stay shut up in there forever, can I? As of tomorrow morning, Paddycoat's veterinary practice is back in business. <laughs> oh, look at that. And all for what? She didn't even need it in the end. You note, that's not a scar. That's a scar. Hmm? Can I just say that drinking alcohol is not a good idea when you're having a pipi? Well, go on, it's only half. Well, it's quite nice actually. <laughs> She's a proper dingo, no messing. <laughs> OK, this fabric, what? 200 each? 150. I don't know why you're even bothering. What about these? 100 each, I reckon. I keep telling you, I don't own anything. I just work here. Somebody's pants are definitely on fire, aren't they? I can smell the smoke. I'm telling you the truth. Well, how come it says partner on your business card, then? And how come the boss insisted that you're into almost half of everything? Almost? Well, 49% is still quite a healthy share. Oh, the cheeky git. Well, it's going to look quite bare in here when we've finished, I'm sorry to say. 
But, uh, well, maybe you can start afresh. Oh, look, there must be something I can do to stop this. I'm sure there is, yeah. You can come up with three grand by tomorrow lunchtime. Otherwise... Still here, I see. Yes, and she's very welcome. <laughs> Why am I not surprised? Some people don't know the meaning of the word loyalty. The number of words you don't know the meaning to could fill the British Library, starting with modesty. Don't get dressed. Right, I'd best be off. Oh, you don't have to. No, I should. Yeah, I want you down. Come on, little fella. <sighs> <laughs> well, uh, thanks for a by and large nice afternoon. Oh, you're very welcome. Any time. Right then, Dawn. Whoever it was that phoned the police, I don't blame them. Bye. <laughs>